Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECMWF 30 day uh, model for today's first video. So we're looking at temperature and precipitation anomalies across uh, Europe and in the UK too for the next four weeks. This takes us into the early part of August. So as we go further into the summer, we'll see what the CFSV2 has to say about the weather in uh, the next four weeks. Get on that view very shortly. Just say that coming up on the home page this afternoon, we're going to have your regular week 10 day video update and that's going to include all all of the usual features. This, um, these charts are coming from the Hungarian Met Office. A big thank you to them for uh, supplying us with these charts. Uh, we can't show you mean silver pressure or 500 millibar heights at this point with uh, the e 30 day model. But you can get a rough idea of what model is forecasting from its temperature and precipitation anomalies. So we'll start off uh, with uh, week one. It's week 28 for the year. We're getting on with the year now, uh, of course. But uh, week one for our forecast period taking us from the 8th through to the 14th of uh, July. This is a temperature anomaly for the coming week then. And it looks really cool, if not quite cold, actually, across uh, eastern and northeastern parts of uh, Europe. So we've got this big blue area here covering many sort of central and eastern parts of Europe, really from Germany uh, and Scandinavia westwards. Uh, the core of the below average temperature is actually uh, kind of like Finland and over towards the west of Russia. Uh, there we're under 10 degrees below average, so exceptionally cool uh, temperatures in the far east and northeast of Europe quite widely. We're going down to between 6 to 10 degrees above average from the Russian border down into you, uh, kind of like the Black Sea and through to the Balkans, that sort of area. So a very, very cool scene across the vast majority of uh, Europe in uh, in the week ahead. Out to west, it's a lot milder actually, so uh, warmer than average through Ireland and the UK, also into France, down to Spain and Portugal. And then through this central bowl of the Mediterranean and into North Africa, generally above average temperature anomalies there. We pick up those below average, those cooler than average temperatures from Italy and the Adriatic eastwards. Uh, core of the above average temperatures kind of like um, one to three degrees above average. So it's not exceptionally uh, warm, but it is certainly warmer than average through uh, parts of Ireland, UK, France and into Spain and Portugal. Precipitation anomalies are looking like uh, this. So, especially Scandinavia coming out drier than average uh, in week from the 8th to the 14th of uh, July. UK's got a bit of a north-south split, so Scotland is wetter than average, England and Wales and Ireland uh, drier than average, much of France uh, looking drier than average uh, as well. As we go into the east and the northeast of Europe, it does look rather above average with precipitation uh, there down this eastern side. Varies from area to area, but generally it's a little bit wetter than average in the east. So there's a trough of low pressure, obviously, uh, and a dip in the jet stream across eastern and northeastern parts of uh, Europe. Through the Mediterranean, quite unsettled, actually. Much of uh, Spain, Portugal, into some parts of France, uh, a little bit above average with precipitation there. And then over towards Italy and around the Adriatic and into the Balkans, looking very wet uh, through those areas. The most wet conditions extend through uh, towards the Black Sea as well. Down across uh, Greece and Turkey, well, close to average precipitation there. There could be a few showers and thunderstorms uh, sparking off. Then we move through to uh, week two, week 29 for the year, week two for our forecast period. And again, we see this east-west split very much in evidence. So much of Eastern uh, uh, Europe and Central Europe generally coming out with average to below average temperature anomalies, significantly cooler or even colder than average across western parts of Russia, heading down into the Black Sea and then into this extreme southeastern corner of uh, Europe. Uh, out to the west uh, for week 2, 15th, 21st of July, it's uh, above average, warmer than average again, across much of western and northwestern Europe, so that does include Ireland, the UK, and down to France, quite a warm scene uh, coming up with a colder than average temperature, and is tending to be over on the eastern side of Europe. Free the Mediterranean, uh, so again, east-west split, many of these western parts of the Med, uh, around average to a little bit above average, central and eastern parts of the Med, generally uh, below average, so that does include Greece and Turkey this week as well, so it's cold and average temperature, and or cooler than average temperature, and 
are clearly extending down even into the far southeastern corner of the Mediterranean. Bear in mind, these are anomalies to average. So, I mean, we're talking about midsummer in Greece and Turkey. So it will still be very warm, if not hot, even then. But it's going to be a bit below average, certainly, uh, if this is right by time to get through to uh, week two for our forecast period. Precipitation-wise, uh, we look like this. So, again, much of Northern and Central Europe are driving average. Uh, Scandinavia on the driving average side. Most parts of Central Europe are driving average uh, as well. Uh, Western Europe, so UK, Ireland down to France, is average uh, to ever so slightly driving average. So maybe getting a bit more unsettled through this period. Uh, and down in the Med, again, it looks quite an unsettled scene, actually. It's close to average through Spain and Portugal, but anywhere further east than that, through the central basin of the Med into Italy, I mean, down into the southeast corner, it overall looks a little bit wetter than average. So rather cool and showery uh, through, this, uh, through this middle part of July. Again, these are all anomalies to average, so that it'll still be plenty hot enough for holiday makers just could be that there's a few thunderstorms sparking off uh, in the heat of the day uh week three which is week 30 for the year is uh, looking like this now the cold average temperature levels are beginning to fade away from the east and uh northeast of europe we've still got cold average temperature levels back into russia but otherwise, much of Scandinavia and then down this eastern side of Europe, the temperature anomaly is recovering to average. So obviously it's beginning to lift up and we're going into more of a recovery phase here through this uh, week three period, which is the 22nd. 28th of July. Further west, through central and eastern, uh, through central western parts of Europe, I should say, it's warmer than average. So much of Germany and Poland going warmer than average. France going warmer than average. Ireland and the UK, a little bit above average with temperature anomaly there too. So quite a warm, uh, quite a warmish July coming up actually for the UK now uh, with the E70 F30 day forecast. Uh, down in the Med, close to average, but uh, certainly those eastern parts of the Med are seeing a recovery in uh, the temperature anomaly. So, I mean, it's something to get overly excited about, but it is warming up a little bit across eastern and southeastern parts of Europe. Precipitation anomalies are fading out as we go further out, we lose the signal. Perhaps ending up being a little bit on the unsettled side across the far west of Europe. It's kind of like average to one or two areas like central France and uh, around the Irish Sea of the, of, of, uh, of the UK. Um, just in those areas, limited areas, we do see slightly above average precipitation. Otherwise, close to average. Driving average in the southeastern corner, still hinting at maybe being a bit driving average in the far northeast. Otherwise, the signal is fading away as it usually does when we get to week three. And then go through to week four, which of course is week 31 for uh, for the year. This is taking us from the 29th of July to the 4th of August. So we just get into the final month of the summer of 2019 uh, with this. And, uh, well... It does look as though we're hinting anyway that those cooler than average temperature lorries could be starting to come back in the east, actually. It might be uh, getting a bit cooler again across that far east and northeastern part of Europe. Uh, many central areas in northern Europe, so much of Scandinavia, uh, much of uh, Germany and Poland, Close to average with temperatures there. And still hinting at being a bit warmer than average for the far west. So again, Ireland, UK down to France, Spain and Portugal. It looks like we're on the warmer than average side here. So, uh, I mean, throughout this period, we could be doing something a bit like that with the jet stream. Or through much of this period, doing something a bit like that with jet stream. So uh, a ridge of high pressure, perhaps, uh, around here. And then a trough of low pressure coming through there. Something like that could be going on through uh, much of July. Pulling down those cooler than average temperatures into the east of Europe. Precipitation wise, uh, again, very, very weak signals as we often see for week four with any of these long range uh, models. Central parts of Med a little bit wetter than average. Maybe hinting at being a bit drier than average through parts of Spain, Portugal and France. Uh, going a bit wet average across uh, parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. So there are a few hints here right at the end of July into early August. It might be getting a bit more unsettled in the northwest of Europe. But again, the temperature normally is still holding up quite nicely there. And then over on the east and northeast side, just a little bit wetter than average through those areas. Otherwise, again, there's no real signal. It is very difficult to sort of ascertain a forecast 
uh, in terms of precipitation with those week three and week four anomalies. So that's how it's looking uh, this week. It looks as though eastern and northeastern parts of Europe are going to have a very cool July. Very, very cool there. Warmer out in the west. So for us in the UK, we're actually uh, going to be doing OK with our temperatures through this July. It's not sure I'm anything particularly hot, I have to say, but it looks like generally it's a bit warmer than average coolest um, in the west of Europe, coolest uh, temperatures in the east. Precipitation is a bit of a mixed bag uh, as well. Overall, where it's coolest, it's probably wettest, especially in that southeastern corner of the Mediterranean. Uh, and where it's warmest, it's probably driest in the northwest of Europe. But again, uh, as you get through towards the end of July and early August, there are perhaps a few hints that it could be turning a bit more unsettled in the northwest. But uh, for us in the UK and Ireland, I don't think it's going to be doing too bad, actually. Uh, compared to other parts of uh, Europe through uh, the rest of this July. We shall see. It's all very experimental. It's all very speculative. Uh, any long-range forecast, any forecast over or beyond five to seven days is uh, coming with a big health warning. So um, you have to uh, take it with a pinch of salt, really. It's a snapshot of what the model is showing. This week, it could all look very different uh, next week. We'll be back later on this afternoon with your week to TV update. Got news about uh, the potential way for um, a bit of a tropical storm to start getting going in uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, things might be starting to crank up with this year's uh, storm and hurricane season. We shall see, but I'll have more about that at the beginning of uh, today's second video update, which, which will be on the homepage this afternoon. Right, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.